Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 7 for the series here. You can see we've got a lot of credits, that's because I've just kind of been letting it tick away. We'll go over everything and see how it's going. So let's look at the planet first. We're in a pretty good spot now. I've almost, uh, I've actually turned everything off for the most part. Uh, all of these are in the perfect zone. And you can see heat's pretty much there. We could try to lower it a little bit if we want to kind of min-max it and I might do that. Uh, pressure could just go up a little bit and oxygen could go down just a little bit but really that's actually pretty good and then clicking on water we're just slowly increasing the water now clicking on the actual colonies here we've got obviously our two colonies one thing I do like to do and we're still working on the cloud seeder and we'll actually go ahead and upgrade that because that I can keep running pretty much at all times and the other things I usually turn on depending on how long I'll be at my computer but uh, taking a look here you can see that I've actually lowered I've done the oxygen filter here to negative 10 to offset the plus 10 oxygen there so that way oxygen doesn't get away from us. We can build a new facility actually and we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and build the transit network I believe. It does do the minus 10 oxygen so we, we can actually shut the other one off. And it'll hurry up and fill up these habitations. We're just going to disable this for now. Eventually we're going to need it. Well actually let me see. we got 56 minutes so... How, what was oxygen at though? I can have oxygen go up a little bit and be okay. Oh no, I need it to go down a little bit. So I'd be better off actually leaving that running and then after this builds, leaving it running just a little bit longer. So we'll turn that on and we're gonna let this build. So that'll offset that hab complex there. Plus you can see that we've got very low population here, but a lot of habitability. We're gonna wanna fill that out quick so we can keep getting culture points for population boosts. Looking at culture here, we've got two more points. We're going to spend one more on victory. That puts us pretty pretty close. I think it's 30%. And I've got one more culture point to spend. The next one's going to be at 2,500 population. Which we should get as soon as this one uh, fills out. You can see here that we're still mining. We've got a lot of things worth mining on both of these. And I think that... Let's see... I did queue these up again last night. I thought I found some really good stuff. That's actually really good. So we'll just throw that out. That should get us at a pretty even 50. Yeah, this is 54. So it's 50,000 for both of those. Over 50,000, which is what I want. We've got the mining revenue boost going on right now, which is why those are so high. Um, and then we also had rich iridium deposits and platinum deposits. And the great holographer or whatnot so that's pretty good and you can see when i turn these things off they don't eat credits and that's a most important thing too is you know a lot of people will have a lot of things built that cancel each other out but you really don't have to do that because if you just build the small things and just let them run and if you're a patient person and you're not looking to do it really quickly then you can just uh Kind of let those things chill in the background. It won't get away from you. And my mobile game, I've pretty much almost flooded Mars because I tried to do it differently. I tried to rush into things and get it uh, terraformed as quickly as I could. And I ended up pretty much almost drowning the planet out. I drowned a whole outpost out and came very dangerously close to drowning a colony. But luckily, I caught it in time. I think I hadn't gone on, got on in like two days. So it almost ran away from me. But uh, yeah, we're getting really close actually to being able to put some uh, life on the planet. We can actually go ahead and go to research now. And we're going to have to start researching things like the tidal enclave and the automated nursery. We'll start with the automated nursery. And we'll actually hurry that uh, for six Genesis points. All right. And then from there, let's see. So that's going to add heat once we do the, the eco simulator. So we'll probably want to get the cooling plant. So we'll be able to offset that heat. Now, yeah, we definitely don't want heat added. If anything, we, we want to lose a little heat. So I could build a cooling plant and let that happen. But we're gonna wanna build an area where we can put that nursery up. And I may even get another colony up here at some point. I gotta think it through. I really probably don't need one though. But neither of these can be upgraded, so this colony can't grow anymore. I'll probably get rid of these. Let me see. 
See, because I don't need the I don't need the pressure. These cancel each other out, but I don't need the oxygen. So that's why these are just sitting here right now. I would like the water, but not if it's going to hurt me. So I'm actually going to remove both of these. It does cost credit to remove them. I do try to keep it nice and clean. Most people would just disable them and leave them up. I find that getting rid of them is better. We do need the 40 water, though. I could probably offset the pressure. Did I... I'm pretty sure I built something to do that. Let me actually go back real quick. I was pretty sure I did not get the sequestration plant. I meant to do that. So I'll actually disable this and I'll wait till I get that plant. Oh, dang pop up for blue stacks. Once I get this sequestration plant, then I can turn that on. That'll get us water a little bit quicker and offset that pressure there. But this will be fine for now. Uh, what this planet will need is a hab unit. It actually could use a hab dome. That adds water and it adds oxygen. So let's go ahead and get the hab dome. And that means we're going to want the transit network, which removes oxygen. And I believe one adds and one's, let's see. I was going to check on that. The uh, adds oxygen and something else. Ten oxygen, twenty water removes oxygen, so that'll cancel out the oxygen. We need the water boost, but we'll work on something that'll lower water levels once that's done. So I have to make sure I definitely check on this place tonight, or it'll run away from me pretty quickly. Um, Whatever lowers the water, the geocistern, I'll have to build that here. I try to build the, the ones that cancel each other out. So you see I've got the plus 10 oxygen, minus 10 oxygen. And then I'll build this. Uh, the tr I don't know. That's for, that's for this here. I'll have the transit network here, which reduces oxygen. So then I'll, t I'll get rid of this. They'll cancel each other out. And then we'll go back to this here. And I only have this until water levels are stabilized. But if I have these canceling each other out, then uh, I'll probably build, let's see, the aquifer. I'll probably get rid of the aquifer network completely instead if those give me water. And then, then I'll get something that'll offset that water, that negative water. That's what I'll end up doing. But the population is not going to grow all that quickly okay so either way i think that's it for this episode i've got just about everything i wanted covered the exciting thing is habitability plant life we're just increasing the seat level right the sea level right now for the priority but we're really close to habitability for plant life we can actually probably support plant life now but uh, we won't get it just yet we're going to get the cooling plant first um, i did pay for the automated nursery uh, but we're uh, I've still got to build one, so I'll have that built. And then next time, so uh, in the next episode, episode eight, we'll go ahead and actually start working on designing our own microorganisms and designing our own uh, plants and everything. We'll probably get the eco simulator as well between now and then. So that way we can, we'll have the 10 heat. So I'll have to keep doing things. That's why I'm doing the cooling plant now. So I keep kind of balancing everything, but uh, I believe the next episode will be going over all of the plant microorganisms and stuff like that. And then we should be fairly close over time as long as the population is going up and we're getting the culture points. Uh, we should be able to hit 50% pretty soon. And then from there, just keep rushing forward to uh, independence. And by then, I'm hoping Mars will be pretty much a paradise. So that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>